Hello everybody, Sleazy Reviews here, and today I'll be teaching you how to record your video game footage using a Hapage HD PVR. Well, for the first step, we need to learn what you need in order to record. First, you're going to need the standard RCA cables that come packed with your video game system. These are the cables that you would usually plug into your TV. Next, you're going to need a set of component cables. These are the ones that are usually used for your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3 that you usually plug into the component ports in the back of your computer. You will need them to look like these and they'll need to be double sided. These usually come default with your HD PVR if you buy it brand new. Next, of course, you're going to need your HD PVR itself and you're going to need a TV that has component cable slots on the back of it. Alright, now that you have everything you need, we can move on to the next step. Alright, now for the next step, we're going to be setting up your Hapage HD PVR. First, you're going to want to look at the front of your Hapage. On the right side, you will see the standard Super Video, Yellow Video Jack, Left White Audio, and Right Red Audio. These are for last generation game consoles such as the Xbox Original, PlayStation 2, and the GameCube. Now, if you are using an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, you're going to want to use these component jacks that are on the back. Remember, if you are using an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, you're going to need to use the bottom which clearly states IN. It will not work if you use the top. Alright, well, for this example, we'll be using the cables from a regular GameCube. Now, my S-Video Jack is broken, so we won't be using it in this video, but still, the setup is simple. You just plug them into their respective colors. Red into audio red, yellow into audio yellow, and white into audio white, so that it looks as if you plugged it up to your TV. Now we get into how to plug your HDMI cables into the back so that you can see it on your TV. As stated before, you're going to want to put the HDMI cables for your Xbox 360 on the bottom. Now, for connecting to your TV, you're going to want to take your component cables and plug them into the top jacks labeled out. So, you just plug these in to their respective places. All right. Once you have your component cables going from the HAPOG to the TV, it's now time to put the other side of the component cables into the TV itself. Okay, now you're going to want to look in the back of your TV and you should see these component cable jacks. What you're going to want to do is take the other side of these component jacks that are currently plugged into your HD PVR and plug them into their respective ports. Red into red, white into white, red into red, green into green, and blue into blue. Once you have all these hooked up properly, we can move on to the next step. Okay, now that you have everything hooked up, it's time to see if your hard work is paid off. First, you're going to want to turn the HAPOG on by pressing the power button that is conveniently placed in the front, bottom, left-hand corner. You'll know it's on when you see the blue light illuminate. Next, you're going to want to turn on your video game system. After, of course, your TV is on and it's switched to the component output. So, turn your game system on and ensure that it works. Great. If you see it on your TV and everything is coming up perfectly clear, everything is hooked up the way it should. Now, if your screen appears black and white, your game console cables or the component cables may be in the wrong places. Or there may be a, the, the, something wrong with your system itself. Just tinker around with it like I did and you'll be sure to find a solution quickly. Alright, now that everything's set up, the last step is to get your computer out. Now, coming with the Apache is its own capture software, editing software, and even its own theater mode. It comes on a disc pre 
if you get it new. It should look like this. But be reminded, it only works for Windows users. So if you're a Mac user, you're going to have to get your own capture software and your own editing software since a Hapage records in a format that most basic editing softwares can't compat with. Well, once you have it installed, it's going to show up as Total Media Extreme on your desktop. You're going to want to double click that on and it should bring up this page. Now, at the top, you're going to notice several different buttons you can press. First one is being player, recorder, create disk, utilities, and edit. What you're going to want to do is go to record video, which is the second from the right, and go down to the drop menu and click record video. And if you've already hooked up the USB cable, which goes from the back of your hapage to your computer then it should show up on the computer screen like so now if your computer screen is showing a black and white image you might have the component cables in the wrong place or your regular cables in the wrong place now all you have to do is hit the capture button at the bottom left hand corner of the um video. There are some options available at the top, but it's better to leave those at default. One thing I will point out to you though is, is at the bottom right hand, left hand corner, you will see PlayStation 3, AVC HD, and Xbox 360. No matter what you use, you're going to want to choose the Xbox 360 format as it records in the ever crucial MP4 format that YouTube accepts. Alright, so you've got everything hooked up, you've got your software installed, your hardware is hooked up, your GameCube's on, and you're ready to start recording. So, you're just going to click the capture button at the bottom left of the um, screen. Now it will go blank as it's getting prepared. As it's getting prepared, you will need, you will notice that the blue light turns on as soon as it starts recording. Now. There is something very important I would like to point out to each of my viewers. Is that and that is the lag. Watch. See if I can get this in the video for you. You see there is about a one or two second lag. Do not worry if this happens to you. It is perfectly fine as the USB is going to your computer. Alright, well that's about it on hooking up your Hapage HD PVR. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section. Alright, well that's about it for me. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have fun recording videos with your brand new Hapage HD PVR.